Down the hot weather didn't stop people determined to get in their exercise. Walkers, joggers, bikers, they were out early in Central Park. CBS 2's Christina Fan is there with more and how others are dealing with all of this heat. Christina. Well, Mary, we were really hoping to squeeze through the end of the summer without a heat wave, but it got us with just two weeks to go before the start of fall. People out here say it's really hard to pick what's more suffocating, the heat or the humidity. The only place hotter than the pavement on a sweltering summer day may be the inside of Isaac Sabea's food truck. It's been a hot. <laughs> it's been a bit of hot. Where from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m., he's manning the grill with little relief, except for the occasional breeze. We have a family who have to work hard. What can we do? With a heat advisory in place until 8 p.m., the city is asking people to take it easy, and many did, with cold water, fans, and a nap under shaded trees. What I do to stay cool, mm -hmm. I stay out of the sun. And uh, I put my curtains down and I watch bad TV. In New York City, most heat related deaths occur after exposure to heat in homes without air conditioning, which is why cooling centers are opening up for people and their pets. Yesterday, she was out for a long time, but it did a number on her, so I'm being careful today. While this is only the first heat wave of the year for us, Europe has been baking all summer. Even so, tourists waiting in line at the Intrepid say it's easier to stay cool over there than over here. We do notice that there's a lot of concrete and asphalt, and hitting the asphalt is like a fist to your face sometimes. <laughs> And to put things into perspective, we really have had a pretty good summer weather-wise. Temperatures across the world hit an all-time high this summer, but here, things have been relatively below average. So, Mary, no complaints for me. We are live from Central Park. Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. All right, Christina, try to get cool somehow. So it's so hot and humid that officials at the U.S. Open Tennis Tournament have adopted a new policy for the rest of this year's event. They will partially shut the Arthur Ashe Stadium roof in extreme heat to offer some extra shade. The temperature climbed above 90 and the humidity top 50 percent yesterday, making it the steamiest day of the two-week event in Flushing Meadows, Queens. Stay with CBS 2 News as we continue to cover this dangerous heat. We have additional information on ways to stay cool on our website at cbsnewyork.com. There you can also find a list of cooling centers and area public pools.